you fell into TV, didn't you? It, was kind of, it, wasn't a, it wasn't by design, it was sort of just happened. Oh my God, it was the last thing I wanted to do. It, never even, it wasn't even on my <laughs> radar. I was running the practice. Um, I was teaching at um, Nottingham University and Newcastle University at the time, part-time. And uh, Newcastle University asked me if, well, you've got to do research now if you're a teacher. You can't just teach students, you've got to do research. And I was like, I'm too busy, you know, I'm running the business. And, and they said, oh, just write a book. Just write a book on something, and if it gets published, then that'll count as research. And um, so I went to see a friend of mine called Natasha, and I said, she's a writer. And I said, I've never written before, apart from dissertations and thesis and stuff. And she said, put a few proposals together, and I'll get you a meeting with an agent that I know. So I went to meet this agent in Covent Garden. It was really embarrassing, actually. I was, it was like... It was like going back for another interview, you know, and I walked into this agent and she said, um, so what's the book about? I went, architecture? So, well, I gathered that. And she just said, look, why don't you sign for us? And we'll help you develop ideas for what the book might be or could be. And we'll go from there. And that was on the Thursday morning at 10 o'clock, um, many years ago. And on the Monday morning, she called me up and she said, have you ever thought about doing television? I went, no. She said, I didn't really talk about it, but I'm a literary agent and a broadcasting agent. We kind of do both. And she just said, I've come off the phone from a channel talking about something else. And at the end of that chat, they said, is that anybody new? Um, and she said, oh, I've just signed this architect called George Clark. And they went, oh my God, you know, would he go for a screen test? We've been looking for people for a while. Um, she said, will you go? And I said, no. And she did that mum thing. We were talking about this before to someone. You know, when your mum goes, um, Oh, give it a go, you know. Yeah, you might uh, like you, it. You've got nothing to lose, yeah. you know. You might not like it. You might not be any good at it, you know. And da -da -da -da, did all that. And I went, no. Um, and then by the Wednesday, she said, um, just do it. And so I did it on the Wednesday morning and got offered the job on the Wednesday afternoon. And still said no. Because uh, I was, you know, I've been really serious. It's, uh, you know, that, that was running my business. I was very happy. All I wanted to be was an architect. And I was trying to build the business up because it was very early days. So I wanted to focus on that. I didn't really want any distractions. And, you know, and there's some TV out there, which is awful. You mm. know, let's be honest. There's some terrible stuff out there. So mm. for me, if I was going to start making things, it had to be right. You know, I had to really want to enjoy it. And I think it's very easy for people to get kind of seduced by the media, really. And, think it's like the best thing you could ever do ever but I think unless you keep your credit I mean it, it kind of is <laughs> let's be honest George I mean you look at someone like Kevin McLeod doing Grand Designs Kevin's brilliant you know he's a, he's a really good guy he's a really intelligent guy um, Grand Designs is a really well made series and because of that it's been going for 15 years yeah um, well I think there's other property formats out there that have just come and gone really quickly and uh, I think it's important I think it's important for your own well-being really to do things that you're really passionate about and you're really interested in i wouldn't i would stop television tomorrow if it wasn't something i truly enjoyed and got a lot out a lot out of um you know I, I feel like i'm in a very privileged very lucky position really um and and for me the i mean the best part about it, i'm not just saying this is people you know you, you can only have great buildings that are created by great people and Great architects and great designers can only create great buildings if they've got great clients. You know, it's, it's, you can see a bad building quite often. There's lots out there. And normally it's because of either bad architects or bad clients or, people, or the planning system being a bit of a nightmare. And for me, it's about really, really good people.